Hey everybody, so as you know, my name is Kianti Ashe and this is Blue Aura Healing Guidance and Tarot. This is going to be a reading for our Divine Feminines, alright, so all of our DF, Empress, High Priestess, Energy only. If you would in any way at all identify as a Divine Masculine hunty, you can go ahead and get that because this reading right now is not for you, alright? Let us go ahead, you all, jump right into this reading. Let us see what the messages are that Spirit has here for you on today thank you spirit thank you thank you thank you thank you spirit all right i am so grateful amen so grateful all right we got a couple of things struggling behind rejection or protection slow down i just don't know anymore that could be you or your person Somebody wants to take their time because they feel like, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm seeing things about you that I didn't know. <clears throat> Let us see. All right, we are just too different. That could be how someone is feeling. I try to find you in those I've dated. Okay. Here's what I'm getting. Yeah, someone curved you. Okay, or this is the energy that they're in right now. All right. You feel curved or something like that by someone. They're trying to replace you, but it's just not working. They can't find your energy anywhere. Saturday. Now, this could have been something that happened this past Saturday or something that's coming up. So, yeah, for it to come out twice, something's coming up. Okay, something could have happened last week. Or this past Saturday, but something's going to happen again. because, Or something's going to happen on Saturday. Let's start over. It could be on Saturday that somebody says, hey, let's start over. But if this is because they feel like they can't replace you, yeah, they curved you, okay, and tried to replace you with someone else. See, I try to find you and those I've dated. See what I'm saying? It just didn't work or it's not working. It's not going the way that they thought it was going to go. All right? And it's something here about I have proof, okay? They have proof of something Monday. Today is Monday, all right? So let us see what's going on, what's going down. Perhaps next lifetime, okay? When can I see you? Somebody may ask you, when can they see you? Like perhaps next lifetime or something like that. I try to find you and those I've dated, okay? So here's the thing. Someone curved you. You could have wanted to spend time with someone. They could have curved you, made you want to feel, made you feel curved, okay? Not made you want to feel, made you feel curved, okay? Then you get to the point where you're like, never mind. But now this person seems to be putting in energy and effort. Yeah, I want you to be the mother, father of my children. Now they put in energy and effort and you're looking at them like, um, yeah, they're like, I have proof. I have proof that I care about you, that I love you. Can you keep a secret? So this person is going through something that they don't want a lot of people to know. Your access denied. They don't want anybody to know. They feel like the people around them have been fake, have been talking about them, have been gossiping about the things they've been going through. Again, Sunday, so Saturday, Sunday, one night only. So, <clears throat> now this is only going to resonate for some of you, not all of you, okay? Just take your messages the way that they're coming through for me. Something could be happening where this person asks you, like, hey, can I see you? And you're like, uh, no, because remember when you curved me, they're like, I have the proof, you know, of what happened and can you keep a secret i just want to keep it between us i want to talk to you be careful with that because you go over there they say just one night just stay with me one night and you end up staying until monday or something like that like you stay a week <laughs> or something okay <clears throat> you know a one night thing turns into something else let us see what's going on we have September, so September could be significant, all right, for you, them, okay, could be your birthday, their birthday, anniversary month, when you met them, something. We have getaway, okay. When it's all said and done, you're the one for me. Long hair, okay, you could have long hair, they could have long hair, honey. All right, they could have you need to. I'm just taking the messages. Manicured nails, you deserve the best, and I intend to give it to you intimacy okay yeah this person april okay so we have aries here right virgo libra 
All right, acts of service of service or survey what the hell acts of service okay could be your love language or their love language reversal of energy at present okay yeah so see if you felt curved or if this person felt curved i feel like things are shifting or things are changing the one you will marry oh lord body all right so you have a, a really nice body as well all right you and this person could be in different countries right now okay you're at a really large distance from each other or this person is from a different country again just take what messages resonate with you if your person is being discussed then great <clears throat> we have karmic cycle okay shortcut fade so again either you have short hair long hair or they do put yourself wherever side you go we have suc so suc could be one of your initials but i always thought it was so funny how that came out like oh yeah okay as you see really funny right let's get into the tarot let's see what messages come out <clears throat> yeah i feel like someone rejected you five of pentacles two of cups but after rejecting you you got nine of cups which is like your wish fulfillment your heart desires or you just found happiness all on your own yeah something like that okay but i also feel like the nine of cups could represent you intuitively knowing that you and this person are soulmates and that they were going to be back and that they are back. You know, it's like, yeah, we're soulmates. Yeah, see, you're going to be back. You can't replace me because there's nobody else like me for you. There's nobody else like me, period. <laughs> but there's definitely not anybody else like me for you. Okay, so yeah, Four of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles is them wanting to hold on to you and build with you. Yeah, see, that shifted. <clears throat> All right. So with this access denied, that could be, like I said, them having things they want to share with you that they don't want other people to know. But that could also be you saying, you know what? No, I'm good. And denying them altogether because now this person wants to come towards you and they want to be friendly with the Knight of Swords and the Three of Cups. Okay. King of Pentacles is Virgo Taurus Capricorn person. All right. Emphasis on Virgo. Okay. With September here. But this person comes to you and now they want to be nice. All right, we have Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups is emotional withdrawal. And you're like, mm, I don't know. Something's missing from this, you know. You made me feel this way. I don't know why you did this, but you did. Now, with that curve card, 333 is on it, remember? So when I said, is it rejection or protection, right? Is it somebody saying, you know what, I'm good off you? Or is it spirit saying, nah, this person is not for you. Believe me, right? Or something like that, right? Or even if the person is for you, it's not the time right now. <clears throat> we'll revisit this another time, right? <laughs> Your spirit guides are like, we'll revisit this another time. Yeah, the star guide, star guide, star card, okay? That's your spirit guides. Yeah, ace of swords communicating to you clearly on how to handle this situation. Page of cups is reconciliation, okay, with your person, like I said. <clears throat> Let us see. Reconciliation on apology. Okay, four of wands and a ten of swords. Yeah, forever having betrayed you, ever having betrayed your trust. Okay, ever having put you in a situation where you felt like you had to choose between them or you. Okay, yeah, the ten of wands, they made it very burdensome, very difficult. Nine of swords, and now this person is sitting here like, oh my gosh, it's over. It's over because of everything that I did. Yeah, well, you know, this <clears throat> masculine energy is really in love with you here, and they handled situations very mature or... <sighs> this person could be someone that understands how they're feeling because the king of cups is emotional intelligence right so they could understand how they're feeling but when it comes to them communicating and expressing it that may be the issue the ten of swords is here they may not be expressing what they want to say the right way yeah queen of swords is communication or you know the way that you guys receive love and give love could just be different all right different countries could be literal or figurative sometimes the way you communicate or express yourself could feel like you're in different countries, okay? We are from different countries. King of Swords, okay? King of Swords energy. <clears throat> Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Seven of Cups. Really confused, okay? Knight of Pentacles, so wanting to take their time before they make this offer. You know, Seven of Pentacles. This person has waited on me to display my affection or they have waited on me to be vulnerable and accepting to this love or accepting of this intimacy okay eight of cups but this is emotional withdrawal walking away going on a spiritual quest you know telling somebody see you later thank you but no thank you something's missing i thought this was one thing but it's something else okay so again rejection or protection the hermit okay going into hermit mode 
icing someone out, okay? So this could be you, this could be them. The five of wands, okay? Due to, mm, let me put it to you this way. I feel like your person is willing to do whatever they have to do to get your attention. Eight of swords. <clears throat> They're willing to do whatever they have to do to get your attention. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing here from this person. They're willing to do whatever they have to do to get your attention in order to move this forward. And I feel like some of you know this. Some of you may also just feel like energy coming from this person. And you're like, okay, I already know what this is about, right? And I already know why this person is sending me this energy. They're sending me this energy because they feel a certain type of way toward me romantically. But maybe at this point, I don't feel that way anymore. Because again, certain things have happened. So, is something like that going on? Yeah, see, it says, I'm embarrassed to admit I was superficial and judgmental in the past. So, it's something about you as to where your energy was everything. And this person said, yes. You know, whoever I'm with, I want them to have that energy. I don't want that person, but I want them to have that energy, right? And they can't replace your energy. They're starting to realize that now. So, it's like you want the person, I mean, the energy and the person are a package deal. But you don't even want them now because it's like, oh, okay, well, sorry, it doesn't work like that. But now they're like, I appreciate you for who you are, but that's the here and now, you know. They didn't appreciate you initially. They just wanted the energy. So that's how you're feeling about it. Okay, but let us see. <clears throat> we have angel number 444, whatever you need. Don't give up on love, even if I never get it right. Did I make you fall in love again or nah? Growing in love together. So for some of you, you feel like this is your person. And even though there's been this and that that's happened, you're praying about it. And you just have faith that one day this prayer is going to be answered. And Because it's something that's not average. All right. It says far from typical, not at all what you're used to. Okay. So you are far from typical, not at all what this person is used to. Okay. And they are realizing now that they cannot replace your energy. So again, September, April could be significant. Last Saturday... This up and coming Saturday, Monday as well was mentioned, okay? So it's like, today is Monday, right? So we have the moon and Aquarius. Someone could have an Aquarius moon or it's just their, like, true feelings, what they're not telling you, but they're going to bring it to the light because Aquarius is the star, enlightenment, illumination, okay? So something that was hidden coming to the light is also how I could look at this. Your unconscious, sensitive, inner emotions and responses. This energy is freedom-loving, rebellious, idealistic, and technological, okay? Let us see the 11th house, okay? Where the cosmos grant wishes, luck, friends, and social occasions. So this person is like, even if we don't get to, you know, have the life that I would like to have with you, which is the four of wands due to ten of swords, I would still like to be your friend. I would still like to be in your life. I would still like to be a part of your world because the sixth house is our routine and what we do on an everyday basis. So the fifth house now, here's the thing though, they do have these feelings, so they can't deny that whether they want to or not, they just can't. Um... But yeah, I, I mean, it's totally up to you as to if you're going to allow this person in or not, right? In that way. Some of you feel like, yeah, like I said, they, <laughs> even if I, even if we have to be friends, it says fake friends. That could be them. They don't really want to be your friend or something like that, right? But anyways, if this was your video or you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. And if you have not already, go ahead and subscribe. Peace and happiness.